Thank you, all the candidates. And uh, now the floor is open to question. You can now direct question to particular candidates. And yes, it's now open for question. Is there any question from the floor? Um, can you pass the mic to? Um, this question is directed to all of the candidates. Um, what would be your most immediate improvement or change towards the school if you were to be elected president? <laughs> well, first of all, I believe that uh, I think we need to immediately change Nakia and Nazi's toilet and pantry because it has not been renovated for a very long time. to hold events that involve the whole school so that we can unite in order to change. Uh, changing hygienic facilities of Nazi and Nakia is a good idea, but that is basically long term. I would like to change it in the near future. But right now, the thing most important is the shed between Imran and Nakudin. This morning was raining and it wasn't that pleasant for me. Um, hello? <laughs> For me, what I want to change is I want to change the whole school. <laughs> Thank you. The first thing I would change would be the consistency of the temperature of the shower water. Um, once again, the floor is open for question. Um, yes. This question is directed to J Ho. J Ho, there has been a lot of criticism about the effectiveness of the student council. How much potential do you think the current student council has for positive change in the future? Well, I think it is a very high possibility and potential if I am the president, and in fact, the highest. Um, candidate Jeho and Gabriel, considering that the student body is made up of 95% students that come from Asian parentage or lineage, what do you think will be the reaction of the parents of the students and the board of trustees to your proposal to elevate the PDA rules? Well, I believe that this elevation is not too drastic of a change and is not too hard for to, them to accept. And as, as long as we are Asians, I believe that we need to conform ourselves for a change. And I'm not, obviously, I'm not saying that we must give up our whole Asian values, natures, and roots. But I believe that this is the 21st century, and we must be able to change. And I think that is what makes us move forward. Okay, uh, please stand when you ask the question. To answer Eileen's question, yes, I'm not asking for too much of a change. PDA, I'm not saying that you can do lots of stuff in public. Just <laughs> holding hands, some, something that friends do, they interact. Just don't think it as a wrong way that I'll go too far. I won't go that far. There's a, there's a, there's a fine line. Hi, I'd like to address this question to um, Jeho and Yongji. They're both of you. Um, what experience do you have that gives you the credibility to be our next president? Um, I've been here since I was Form 1, and I was a Form 1 rep, Form 2 rep, Form 3 rep. <laughs> and now I'm running for a Form 5 rep, so my experience is quite a lot. <laughs> Well, firstly, I was in the student council at Form 4, and I believe the other nominees have no experience with the student council. Would, Barack Obama, would the Americans let Barack Obama to be the president if he had no experience? Well, Yongji have an experience, but I guess that was two years ago, and lots of things changed last year.
to Kim Jae-ho. Um, you seem to be portraying yourself as a dictator. And I'm not sure if that's the way we want to go. Well, yes, i like to direct my speech and make it um, very uh, direct. So, yes, I'm quite on the dictator side. Yeah. This question is directed to Kim Jae-ho. In your speech, you talked about how capable people are. What makes you more capable than everyone else there? I think I'm more capable than other students because I'm Jae-ho. is directed to those candidates um, who, are, um, who are who are calling for unity. Um, have you guys ever thought of that um, as a possible obstacle that um, it is hard to really change the mindsets of people in such a short period of time that, yeah. Will the floor please repeat the question we can't hear you clearly. Alright, I, I repeat. Um, because unity is a concept whereby it really needs a long term and it's really hard to change um, people's mind, people's mindset, especially if it's if the value is deeply ingrained. So um, have this is open to all the candidates. Um, have you guys ever thought of this as a ob possible obstacle, a challenge? How would you face it? How would you overcome it? Uh, about uniting people, that, that is a challenge. Many people may, will have different perspectives of stuff, but in the end of the day, we all share a common goal, to make KTJ better. And that's what I believe I should do, make KTJ better. Well, I believe KTJ is not entirely united because every house competition, we um, make, other fun, make fun of other houses. And this is why I'm proposing for a social event. Um, I would like to have a um, Sunday form barbecue parties to interact with other houses and become closer friends. To unite everyone is why I am here. I want to unite everyone and I believe that we will be united. And yeah. For me, KDJ is already united, no matter what happens. Yeah. I believe we could increase unity by, as previously stated, just increasing social events. As familiarity breeds contempt. Why would you want to be around people who are all exactly the same as you? I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but being around different people is good. Isabella Jane Shah. I would like to ask to what extent are you taking into consideration the students' opinions as you mentioned that somewhere in your speech and how will that um, actually affect the change that's going to be made to the school under your plans? Um, I believe I would make decisions based on the opinions of the student body. Not every single individual but I would try my very best to accommodate everybody and I would submit it to the principal or whoever I would need to submit it to and I would try to get it done. Once again, the floor is open for question. Um, Pais, I would like to ask a question if you don't mind. Okay. Um, this is directed to all the candidates. I'd just like to ask them how they would persuade the principal to, <laughs> to um, adopt their ideas and plans. Thank you. First of all, from my last, uh, last year as a student council, I feel that there's a bit less ex interaction between the council and the principal. So I would like to increase the number of the meeting we have with the whole council, not only the pr president. And I think we can um, surely understand what you're saying. Yeah, thank you. I have literally no experience in the student council, but but I think the principal now is a fun guy to work with. I'm sure we can work things out. 
song uh, somehow plan things out. Maybe that's how I persuade you. I, I don't know. <laughs> Because I wouldn't give you ideas that suck. I would give you ideas that make sense in my head and I would believe to the rest of the students. Um, sir, I will try and persuade you in any way I can. <laughs> Sir, I'll prove it to you. Okay. I'm new to Common Constraint. That will be the last question. Now is your time to cast your vote. You have three minutes to make your decision. And is there anyone that doesn't have a ballot? Thank you. 